Here is part 2 of the lift search at Mega Banga. First we start off at the food walk which mainly has Otis Gen 2s and there's also some weird floor numbering here. Starting off with the first lift which has the weird floor numbering. Now I know this immediately because it came out on the northeastern lift on the first floor then a walk there. As you can see on the first floor but this lift calls it the ground floor. That's weird. Otis. It's a Gen 2. This actually happened with the IKEA lift in the last video, which calls the first floor the ground floor, the second floor the first floor, which means the ground floor is called the basement. But this is very simple. But in this case, let's start off with the floor numbering of the shopping center first. The car park is the ground floor and the main shopping center levels are levels 1 and 2, same as the food walk side. And the food walk also has a third floor, additional third floor for the car park and the correct floor numbering is ground 1, 2 and 3. But what is confusing is that there are slopes in the building and you barely notice the slope which means you can end up thinking that you're on the same floor that you've started on the slope and you end up in a different floor but you don't notice you have changed the floor even though it's not like that. It depends on which end you're entering and exiting. For example if you enter from the northern end walking towards the southern end you end up walking from the first floor down to the ground floor but you don't notice that and this happens to every floor above it except for three because that's what the car park is. And what this lift is trying to trick you is that it tries to make you think that you're on the same floor as you started on the slope but even though you're not you're on a different floor making every floor in this lift out by one. And now to the next lift which is the center glass lift. These are two Otis Gen 2 lifts. Now since these are centered means it's in this section and they have to choose between the lower floor or the upper floor for the floor numbering in this lift. In this case they chose the lower floor. So, well, TRG went here last time. Well, that's like just out of service. Is this a Gen 2? If you go around the back, you'll find the car park lifts. These are the south, and also the same corridor as the lift that got the floor numbering wrong also has the north car park lifts. Now since the car park has half floors, in this car park they use 1 plus, 2 plus, they use plus. And if you think about it, how about the lifts in the center? Instead of using like this, can they just use ground plus, 1 plus, 2 plus? Not sure. Okay, anyway, now to the next lift, which is, it's not on the map. It's actually a service lift that I didn't talk about. TRG actually found this lift, you can click the video on the top right hand corner. Other than that, there's a Schindler lift that I missed last time, but this is just a small Schindler lift, takes you up between the first and the second floor. This is in the older section of the food walk. From here, if you go down this way, you'll get to the south extension. Before we go into the extension, let's first go into a Schindler lift that I missed last time. A Schindler 24 or 2600 lift in front of Home Pro. Weirdly, this has Eurolift fixtures, FIMXB. FIMXB, very nice. These are Eurolift fixtures.
There's actually a lift in Harborland, but this is a Mitsubishi Nexus MRL. I'd film it, but they lost the footage, sorry. Anyway, in front of Harborland, there's a Schindler 5500. This is a new one, they previously installed it. Sadly, there's some music, and last time I ever posted video, it got copyright, so I had to remove the audio. What I do have is a nice 5500 lift. You see the belt cables are there. If you cross the bridge over some very nice gardens, you get to the other side where there's a small Schindler 5500 which goes only between the ground floor and the first floor. And the floor is very short. It's actually a 5500. The 5500 motor is up there. See clearly from up here, that's the motor. So that's all of the lifts here at Megabanga. But right now, due to COVID-19, the lifts in Megabanga have these tapes stuck into the floor and, and only six people are allowed into a lift at one time. Here, the picture is taken by TRG. Not just that, also in TRG's condo, they've also stuck stickers to have social distancing in the lift so COVID-19 cannot spread easily. I mean, it can still get spread inside just a small cramped space, but at least it's more protected, I think that way. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel. There's always a secret video at the back of my old videos or whatever. My camera, my camera, my camera just messed up.